Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to explain how to set up a new email domain on your existing Microsoft Office 365. Specifically, in this case, we have someone that's been using Google for their email and they now want to route it to Microsoft. So, easy enough to do. First thing we need to do is to log into the Microsoft portal, portal.office.com. I have already signed in. You need to be an administrator, which means you'll see the admin link on the bottom left here. So click on that, click show all, click settings, click domains, click add domain, and type in the name of the domain you want Microsoft to host the mail for. In my case, that's seniorsmassage.ca. Use this domain and Microsoft is going to ask us to verify that we have control of this domain. In other words, verify we're not a hacker. So there's a bunch of ways to do this. The easiest way, however, is to just add a record to the DNS. And that is what I'm going to do. So let's click continue. And that's what we need to add. Now, you can see here, there's step-by-step -step instructions we can get for Wix because Wix is doing the DNS hosting for the domain currently. We're going to change that. So here we've signed into Wix, gone to settings, gone to domains, and here you can see it's a bit confusing. So in this case, we're going to manage the DNS records. Scroll down to TXT records and select add record. And it's at text value is that. And the time to live 3600, that's one hour. It doesn't make any difference to the TTL. Click save, didn't like that. Let's just remove it. There we go, that's working. And now let's go back to Microsoft and click verify. Bingo. So it now proves we own the domain. Isn't that nice? Or well, at least we have control of it. And let's click continue. And you can see it's going to apply the default Microsoft Exchange Online Protection, which is a very good thing. Let's get to adding the records. So MX record, grab that guy right there. So I'll just click the copy icon. Let's go back to Wix. And we need to go down to the MX record in Wix and remove all of the ones that are there. Delete. Delete, 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 and in here, let's put the Microsoft one. Bingo. And now we could set the C name for Auto Discover. Auto Discover isn't required, by the way. It just lets you set up your mail a lot easier. So we'll do it. So we scroll through Wix until we find the C name, and we type in Auto Discover. And the value that Microsoft gave us, which is just autodiscover.outlook.com. Time to live of one hour is fine. And let's go back here. And text records. This is a sender protection framework. This is just explaining which server has the authority to send email on behalf of this domain. So that stops hackers. So let's just copy that. If you don't understand it, don't worry about it. It's not, it's not necessary, Just you, but you do need to do it or you're going to have problems. So let's add a text record, paste that in, that's an at sign. Time to live of one hour is fine. Oddly, Wix doesn't like the at sign, so let's get rid of that. It may not be actually be required. Yeah, okay, so that seems to work. Now let's go back to Microsoft, and it will validate that those are there. Now, you also have some additional options if you're using Skype and in, uh, Intune for mobile device management and domain keys, which we're not because this is a really small domain. If you are a real business, you are probably using domain keys. You probably should be. Okay, let's click continue and it will validate them. In other words, it's going to go out and check those records. Bingo. Now at this point, you're pretty much done. You just have to assign that domain to any users you want. We will do that very quickly, but that's not the point of this video. Click done. And you can see here, Seniors Massage is there. Yay. Under users, we have none. So let's go to our users here, our active users. And I want to add a new user. We want this person just to be test because we're just trying to show you how this works. So test, and if I want to send email to that person at Seniors Massage, there it is. I can just select it. If we have an existing user we want to add that email to, like this guy, this Ian Matthews guy, let's click on Ian, click on manage username and email, and in here you see I've got a whole bunch of them. 
Well, you don't see it because I've got it blurred out, but you see I do have it. And in here I could put Ian at uh, seniorsmassage.ca, select add, and that email address will start working almost immediately, within a few seconds. Now in my case, I'm going to delete that because I don't want it, but that's all you have to do. So that's it. If you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Subscribe's also appreciated. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.